Hello, my name is Antonia Garcia, and this is my proposal for a war-based literature class at Monroe Community College in Brighton, New York. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this proposal. There are currently no veteran-based literature classes at Monroe Community College. However, I have just finished the English 230 Mythology class here at Monroe Community College. In that class, we have several veterans that have really benefit that have said that they have benefited from reading the literature that we have in that class. And in that class we've been reading books like The Iliad, The Odyssey, Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, and Beowulf. And they have stated that this has helped them immensely with coming home from war and back into the classroom. The books that we read in that class interest them. They can relate to them. Although these veterans may have returned home many years ago, maybe a few months ago, or even decades ago, they all benefit greatly from these epic poems. So the main problem, many veterans have a hard time assimilating back into the classroom and returning from war. They may not know how to properly go back to the classroom since they haven't been in a classroom setting in so long. They don't find classes that are interesting to them. They have a hard time just understanding what to be doing with their GI Bill. And currently we have a quite a good deal amount of veterans that I have I have had been here for about a year now and I've had veterans in all of my classes that I've had and I and I take like the regular like 18 credit courses. The problem is that not many classes can help establish emotions and feelings when returning home from war. Literature classes are based on understanding and comprehension of various works by various authors. However, certain works are more apt to start conversation, conversation that is more geared to veterans, like books that are based on war. Veterans are more likely to enjoy, comprehend, and understand war-based literature than, let's say, a British literature class or even a creative writing class. The conversation will be sparked already because that is what they have already been through. So my specific proposal. This proposal is to create a specific class for veterans who are returning from the classroom. This is not just for veterans because MCC is an open institution, so we would like to offer it for people that are interested in veteran studies as well. But within this class, these veterans will be discussing works of literature that are war-based. So anything that has built around a war, has a war inside, or is post-war. Most literature in this class will be epic since they are generally about war and adventure. They have war in the plot, or it could be like the Odyssey, which is post-war. Empathy and understanding are two main feelings that these veterans need on returning into the classroom, and that is exactly what this proposal will be doing. So ultimately, this class will create empathy for soldiers, Establish an interesting learning environment for returning soldiers and those who are interested in veteran studies. They will create an interest in psychology and why people perform certain actions. So we'll also have to deal with sociology and maybe even cultural anthropology. And ultimately, this will give back to veterans in a class setting that will appeal to them. So for this proposal, I've created a lesson plan slash schedule. And this class will be a 15-week course. Um, and in this course, we will start out with the Iliad and a wonderful article from Jonathan Shea's Mortal Injury. And we will be reading the Iliad in whole. And after the Iliad, we will move on to the Odyssey, books 1, 8, 9, 11, 22, and 24. All which have to deal with Odysseus' feelings post-war, his conflict with the suitors, and um, his meeting with his friends down in, in the underworld. Books 1 and 2 of the Iliad. Um, we will not be spending so much time on that. It's just to get the feel of the other side, the other people who were, who were ultimately against the Greeks. And then we'll have a there will be a midterm in this class, um, and then after the midterm, there will be a writer's workshop on finding a topic for essay one. And then we will break into Paradise Lost, the first war with the angels and the demons. Um, books three, five, and nine will be what we'll be reading. Um, 
it just allows a little bit more of the the idea of good and evil and how there is more in between good and evil than just specifically good and evil. Will it be followed by Beowulf? The whole complete works of Beowulf. Um, and then a compare and contrast with Achilles, Beowulf, and Odysseus. And then to wrap up our week, we will have our last writer's workshop. And... Um, and the final essay will be due during finals week. For this proposal, I've created a little bit of a grading sheet. Um, there will be quizzes that are listed on days that we do have readings. So there will always be a quiz on a reading. The quizzes are going to be 15 points. The first essay will be 15 points. The second essay will be 20 points. The midterm, also 20 points. And I have an emphasis on participation um, with 30 points. Um, the main idea behind that is to actually get veterans and those in veteran studies really going into conversation and having that deep empathy and understanding about what is going on in these books and how it could possibly relate to their own lives. Finding the right staff is key for making this class a success. This class should be taught by one member of the faculty. This will allow for more intimate discussion in a single class. If this class is full the second semester and there are other students who wish to attend, there will be a discussion on creating a second class with another teacher. However, this is not a voluntary teaching assignment. This teacher has to be selected specifically for this class and show a great understanding about war literature and have studied epics. Empathy must be their goal when teaching this class. Empathy and creating an understanding with everyone inside the class as well as themselves and they also must accept that every day is a new learning experience for them. Thank you for listening to this proposal, and I hope you understand the need for this class. There is no doubt in my mind that this course proposal will not succeed in becoming a class. The time frame of creating this class is about a year in order to create a more personalized schedule as well as select a teacher for this course. This class will benefit veterans, but also students who are interested in veteran studies. For this specific class, I have picked certain translations of the literature works. Um, I have the Rus edition of the Odyssey, the Hini version of the Beowulf, and the Fagel's translation of the Iliad. These all are easily translated. They're easy to understand. In conclusion, the men and women who served our country deserve a class where they can relate their experiences to. And because Monroe Community College is an open institution for students, this class can be offered to any student that has any interest in veteran studies. It is important to create an understanding between those who served and students. And this class will spark many conversations and hopefully create empathy and connection between everyone inside the class. My name is Antonia Garcia and I hope you've enjoyed my proposal. Thank you.